Well, both fighters in centre ring for the next fight on our card, and things are certainly stepping up now. Out of the red corner from New South Wales, they call him the digger, John Wyborn. And from the blue corner, the man they call the sting from South Australia, Paul Slowinski. Johnny Wyborn, great to see him back in the kickboxing ring, Hammer. We've seen plenty of him in conventional boxing over the past couple of years, but now making a return to kickboxing once again. Well, that's correct, Michael. 22 boxing fights over uh, the last two years. So he's been very, very busy in the handy department. And uh, you can bet he's going to be switched on when it comes to the handwork. But he's got some nice kicks too. He's very unorthodox type fighter, Johnny Wyborn, in the white shorts there to the left of screen. Have a look at uh, his rangy techniques. We're underway in the first round of action. Well, we've had a hat trick of KO so far tonight. Will the trend continue? That's the question. They've been stunning KOs at that. Certainly. Paul Slowinski, beautiful kicking combinations early on there from the Sting from South Australia. Nice right uppercut there from John Wyborn. Oh, they trade round kicks. They're pulling out all the stops early on. Wyborn just throwing him to the canvas. I'll tell you what, Wyborn's opened up like a house on fire with those hands. He's throwing fours and fives. But Slowinski's cutting off the hands by using the knee strikes. Almost but that's clever tactics from Slowinski. Almost the big good night I already need to the head there from Paul Slowinski. Beautiful step up jab, swinging right hand there from the digger, John Wyborn. Over the years, Wyborn has gone to work on some of the biggest names in Australian kickboxing. Adam Watt, Nick Talakuris, of course, the late Gerald Dilhan. He's been around for a long time. He's a cagey, a wily veteran, John Wyborn. Big leg kick from Wyborn. Beautiful leg kick to the outside left thigh there from the digger. Nice right up cut again there from Wyborn. Slowinski ties him up. Two well, very big boys here, Hammer. I tell you what, Wyborn has to be very wary of the knees of Slowinski, but his hands are right on the money tonight, Wyborn. Inside leg kick to the inside left thigh there from Slowinski, of course. Remained undefeated in 1999, Paul Slowinski. Capped off the year by winning the King's Cup in Thailand. Well, there's only a young man, Paul Slowinski, but I tell you what, he's one of the... Uh, Certainly one of the up-and-comers of the country, that's for sure. Paul Slowinski looks a little bit overwhelmed here in the first round by the punching power of John Wyborn. Where's a nice left hand over the neutral corner? A big right hand from Wyborn. Wyborn on a demolition mission here in the first round. Well, Slowinski's got to keep his hands up. He's dropping his hands dangerously low. The right hand again there from Wyborn on a cut. Open on the eyebrow of John Wyborn. That could be some concern for him, Hammer. Blood will start to trickle into that eye. Oh, he's a nuggety fighter, Wyborn. That won't worry him too much. Johnny Wyborn, he's been busier than a mosquito in a blood bank here in the first round. Slowinski's going to have to keep his guard very, very tight, keep his hands up, because Wyborn has got those rocket-sharp gloves of his that are going to be working overtime. Plenty of instruction being yelled in the corner of Slowinski from trainer Alan Wong. You're right, Michael, that left eye of Wyborn is not looking particularly good. And you can see Slowinski setting up for the knee to the head. Wyborn's got to keep upright. Ten seconds to go in this round. High left knee there from Paul Slowinski. You can see him just chambering Wyborn's head out to the side, out to the left. So he's going to rock it up that left knee. As we go to the towels, Hammer, just have a look at the bloodied face of John Wyborn. And what a hell of a first round. <laughs> Slowinski certainly been rattled with hands, but Wyborn has to be weary of those knees of Slowinski. We see, see him working. You can see Wyborn there just bustling along with those hands, trying to land a good clean uppercut or hook. Slowinski grappling the neck. There's a nice sharp rear hand coming out from Wyborn, just missing. But Slowinski, you see him get the grapple on there, hooking the back of Wyborn's head, taking the balance, and then he's trying to get a knee up to the face to finish the fight. But uh, Wyborn, very tough customer, is not going to make his job easy as they square off again. Wyborn just missing with the hand, the hand techniques, going to the body. Slowinski again going for the grapple. Just trying to chamber out Wyborn's head to the side in order to open it up and knee to the face. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it wasn't kind of, he was getting Dr. Peter Lewis in the corner there. Oh, oh, he's going to get cut all over. Oh, how's, how's your nose? Oh, no problem. Not hurt? It was already broken. It was ugly already, wasn't it? <laughs> no, it's, it's no problem. No worries. I say thanks, John. Well, the fight being called off now by the ringside physician, Dr. Peter Lewis. Just too much blood flowing into the eye there of John Wyborn. That's a real pity, Hammer. Well, Wyborn's eye, certainly that's a very, very bad gash. And I'd say that was opened up probably from a knee strike. The knee, obviously, very bony part of the, the body. Striking above the brow, which is also bone. Those patients will also always end up nasty. Oh, in the blue corner from South Australia, Paul the Stings Olawinski.